Hello once again, this is Jim at ModelTrainTechnology.com. Uh, we're working on an HO installation of our LED light board. And I'm a one-handed bandit here with the camera, but here's our HO light board. Uh, it has 11 LEDs and it has an onboard DCC decoder. So we can control this from anywhere in the layout. And here is the Santa Fe Super Chief uh, diner car that a customer sent us. Here's the uh, here's the end of the box, and we've taken uh, we've gotten a l started on this. Uh, the first thing we can do is uh, in this particular model the roof comes off. So, oops, so that's pretty simple. And what we did is we took the end of the car, we snapped off the end of the the car that comes off, and we've added some copper tape. This is a little bit of a different. Uh, approach that we've used than we've used before um, but what we found is with the thick enough tape we can actually solder the water uh, wire onto the copper tape now there's a metal connector two of them they're made out of tin and they have a very low um, they, you know, they just don't solder and so uh, in the past what we've done is had to take in the take the car apart take the trucks out disassemble the whole car and then there are two metal bars which are the weight of the car we put a, a brass strip under there and uh, you know that works great uh, but today we found that we can just solder right here and so we'll connect this wire we'll have two of them and they'll connect right to the tabs on uh, the end of the DCC car. Now, the one thing about this, and uh, we have two types of light boards. Uh, this is a single row, like most that you'll find out there of, you know, whether they have a decoder or not, they go down the center, and that works pretty well, except when you have something like this, where you have this hallway in the back that will be blocked when we put this down. The lights will be in the center of the car, uh, but they won't shine in that hallway. So what we're going to do is use our LED chips and we're going to put that onto the roof of the car, two of them right here, and we, when we flip this whole thing over, we'll be able to light that, that narrow hallway. And so that just tells you, uh, gives you an idea of the flexibility uh, with all the different parts you can get from uh, uh, model train technology. Now, we're in the process of soldering up these wires. There's two of these LED chips. Uh, it's pretty simple. They're labeled plus and minus on the chip. There's one there, and we're just about to solder this one here. I'm going to put the camera down, and we'll come back and show you what that looks like. When we made this particular board, we did not include, uh, we missed a, uh, we, on purpose, we didn't put an LED in this last spot. It'll be actually be in the hallway here, and we're going to solder the wires onto those two tabs where the other LED went, and that will give us uh, uniform lighting throughout the car. And this customer also had previously installed some people. So uh, this is gonna be kind of cool and we're, uh, we're looking forward to finishing it off, but I wanted to give you an idea of how the LED chips can be used in conjunction with the light board. We've tinned the wires to the hookups. You can see where I've soldered to the copper tape which goes down to the truck wheels. And we're ready to hook up the light board. We've got the LEDs fastened with double stick tape and likewise with the LED board. We put some tape to hold down the wires and you'll see, let me get this out of the way. You can see right in there, let's do this. You can see we've soldered the two wires from the chips to the open LED uh, pad. And then to the right, you'll see DCC one and two. It's upside down because of the orientation we have with the car. And we're gonna just solder these two lead wires right there, and that'll be done with the wire. Okay, we've made a little bit of progress. We soldered up each of the LED chips, and we connected them together in parallel, and just ran them down the end of the car, and we'll connect those up to the board in a minute. And then I wanted to show you that we have our LED light board, and we just put some double stick tape on the back, making sure to avoid the ribs as we go through. And we're gonna just put that on and uh, lay it there, and then we'll solder all the wires up over here.
Okay, we're ready to just lay this uh, top back onto the car. We've got the train on the track. We just clipped our DCC system in it and we turned on the power. The blue light on the board indicates that there's power to the board and there's a long story that we talk about on our website, but basically that tells you everything is going well. And I'm just gonna lay this on top. Now, I'm not gonna snap it in because we've needed a little bit more work to do. And I am going to turn the main lights on and isn't that fantastic? So there we go. We've got uh, lighting inside the car. Now I'm going to try to balance this and flip the car around because what we wanted to do was light the hallway because the center board was not going to light the hallway. And now it's in the back. And let me just get that on. And so now you see we've got nice even lighting and it'll, it'll get it even a little bit better once we snap this together. So the dining car is lit, the hallway is lit, looks terrific. So we're ready to uh, finish up the assembly and uh, return it to the customer. And here's the completed car. We have it on fade mode and we're just gonna turn the lights on. I will adjust the lights so you can see what that's gonna look like. We can turn the lights up bright or dim and you can set them while it's on out on the layout, but uh, really kind of fun. There we go. We'll set it down at about 20. And when I push save, they blink, and that's now the new base light setting. And let's make them fade off. And that's it.